Welcome guys to another lesson. Today I would like to explain you how to do spiral. Let's get started. Okay, how to do spiral. So, first of all, we have to break it down to a few stages. So number one, prepare your body. So put your body weight on the left leg, right leg is bent. Now, as always, number one priority is correct posture. Tummy in, chest up, knee back. So remember these three points to create the beautiful posture. Tummy in, chest up, knee back. So now we're ready for the number one stage. To do a spiral, we have to do a rumba walk forward. So we prepare a little bit high, then we release our way down towards the floor, towards the gravity, into the hip, and using that energy, we're stepping forward. So number one, prepare a beautiful posture, tummy in, chest up, knee back, then release your weight to the gravity, and same time, drift your spine forward, and that will be a rumble walk. Try to land as much as you can in split balance position. So what it means split uh, split weight so somewhere here like if you draw a line in my body it has to be this way so not too much on the back not too much on the front now the next stage as you land here split balance so from your beautiful posture settlement drift of the spine rumble walk forward so we start preparation rumble walk forward now from here you see i still have a little bit room left to complete my rumble walk but I'm not gonna complete it. As I finish my rumba walk, I will introduce pivoting action. So I will lift my right rib cage and lift my left hip and feel like your rib cage will do almost like a rainbow up. And as you do your weight finishing, you're gonna same time rotate and pivot. So we call that pivot. So lift your rib cage and as you're finishing your weight, pivot, 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 there, till this position. So number one, prepare. Number two, rumba walk forward. Number three, pivot. But of course, all of that has its own details to make it look very beautiful. So what it means, prepare or beautiful posture. Tummy in, chest up, knee back. What it means, rumba walk. I mean, that's quite complex but in a simple way you release your weight into the hip into the gravity with the spine drift boom then what it means pivot so pivot it's also called the professional name forward walk turning but we call it in US pivot because it's easy and faster so pivot it basically means that as you completing your weight forward which you should do for every walk same time you're gonna introduce turning action and how you turn you lift your hip and lift your chest this way, the right side. Boom. Now from here, the next stage, you're gonna keep pivoting and same time you will elevate. So what does it mean? So I can pivot and stay on the same level and you see my one leg will wind around another. But we would like to add something extra to it. So we're not gonna just pivot, we're gonna elevate. So you remember guys how you were changing your ribcage side. Now here we change it a little bit. And now here, think about your feet, lift. So we keep lifting our feet and as much as possible, as more as we're turning, our legs being collected under your body into this very high position. And now from here, you're gonna do exactly the same. You're gonna put your heel down release your weight into the gravity to drift your spine forward and go for another rumba walk so that's the spiral with a little bit of tips and secrets so let's do it again and prepare walk pivot keep pivoting and elevate pretend like you're using your arms like you're pressing on this table to give yourself a little bit more wind up and then from here you're gonna release, put your heel down, release your weight to the gravity, and then you take off. Now, on that final wind up, 
I strongly recommend use a little bit arm to help you to turn. Because you know, when you do it very slowly, when you don't have momentum, it doesn't feel as stable. But when you do it with momentum, it feels pretty good. So we're gonna introduce a little bit arm to help ourselves to turn. Because remember, every time you turn, the turn, regardless each way, is always come from the upper body. So you're like, if I wanna pivot, I will pivot shoulders, hips, then legs. Or if I want a hip twist, it's always shoulders, hip, then leg. So when we introduce arm, arm being part of the upper body, it can give us better wind up. So on that final moment, you can help yourself with the hand. I'll do a little bit faster. And walk, and walk, walk. Okay guys, so this is uh, some tips and little secrets how to do spiral. Please join my learning platform, dancepedolic.com. It's a lot of secrets, amazing courses, how, how to dance from A to Z, all you need to know about dancing, and see you next time. Practice and become better.